Okay, had a wonderful birthday weekend. Uh, we had people come over. Josh, you know, did the whole couch thing and we got the new dining room and then all of our friends came over and pretty much like everybody was around the dining room table and it was really nice to have like all of our friends, you know, just like we had steaks and then our friends Jordan and Katie and their kids came over and they kind of just brought their own food which was totally fine like we just wanted people over and I didn't realize Josh was like well how was your birthday dinner and I was like oh I didn't know we were considering that a birthday dinner but okay and we it was kind of like an unexpected surprise party I guess it was like a reverse surprise party <laughs> and so I just kind of think it was funny that everybody just gathered on my birthday. But now that all the fun stuff is over, I'm about to give the dogs a bath in their new shower. And yes, we're calling it their shower. You want to get up here? Wait, you want to get up here? There you go. Yeah. We're going to give them a big old bath because they're stinky. They're stinky. They're stinky. They're stinky. They're stinky. They're stinky. You want to come up here to Kimber? Come here. Yeah, you can give her go down there. Yes, she's shorter. Oh. So, we're doing their de shedding shampoo, which has worked really good. We have the Tropic Clean for them, and it's a shed control. And we use it on both of them. I don't know if Josh just didn't realize that he got two different ones or if they only come in these two scents or whatever but this one is the shampoo it's lime and coconut and this one's the conditioner and it's lime and cocoa butter and they smell amazing when they get out of the bathroom or out of the, or out of the bath and when we shampoo them we use this little glove you just put it on and you scrub them you know you put it on all the way but you just scrub them and you while you're scrubbing it, it helps like get all the dirt, or not dirt, all the hair out. Like, I don't know how to explain, or I don't know if you could see it, but they also have a undercoat brush that we use after they take a bath and it helps um, not get their hair all matted up. But this glove is like the best little glove and I just think it's cute how it has little paws right here. But you put the shampoo on them, you scrub them and then when you rinse them off you put the conditioner on and you scrub them again with this and it just really helps get all that hair out especially with kimber she's a we don't know exactly what she is she but we know that she's like some kind of german shepherd or something like that and um she sheds a lot and i mean a lot a lot a lot and Weston, you wouldn't think a lab sheds a lot, but they shed just as much, but just not as much as Kimber does. So they shed a lot. So in order to control all of the hair in the house, so I don't have to keep, you know, sweeping every single day to get all the dog hair out, um, doing this helps a whole lot. But anyways, we're going to, you know, wash the dog. I would also like to add that I do put the leash on the dogs and I hook it up to the bar in the shower. That way they are less likely to escape while I'm bathing them. They do like baths, but they always feel like they're done when they feel like they're done and they try to get out. But this just makes it easier. Also, this conditioner, it has to set for five minutes. So what I do is I shampoo condition the first dog, let them take a break, and while they take a break, I take the second dog, shampoo condition my second dog, and then let them take a break. I get the first dog back in the shower, rinse them off, and dry them off, and then I take the second dog and then rinse them off and dry them off. It just makes it so much more productive. I'm not sitting there doing nothing. I'm using my time well, and it just... It cuts off 10 minutes from the shower. As you can see here, I did not do that in this case. I actually just shampooed condition and waited five minutes and then dried Wesson off and did the same thing with Kimber, but this was before I realized, you know, maybe I should use my time a little bit more wisely, especially when you have to do this once a week, or at least I do, because it 
I'm honestly telling you, like, it helps so much with the dog hair and it's less cleaning every single day. Amber cracks me up when I give her a bath. I don't know why, but she just gets down low and I, I guess it feels good. I don't know, but she's always done this. With Kimber, I have to continuously clean out the little hand scrubber because she'll get so much hair in that. So to make sure I get all of it, I have to clean it every now and then while she's in the shower just to make sure that I'm getting all the hair. And I'll keep scrubbing until that glove doesn't get caked up with hair as much. Now it's that moment where they're not fully dry because towels can only do so much, but they can't stay in this hot bathroom, especially when they're all wet and stuff. Like, it's gonna get the cabinets all dirty. The cabinets are already soaking wet. So, I'm gonna go out, shut all the doors, and hopefully I can keep them off the couch, but, they need to kind of air dry for a little bit. Kimber feels so good. Yes, y'all do. Y'all feel good, huh? Y'all feel good. They hate being in the bath because like while they're in the shower, they look like they're being tortured. But when they get out, they're like, yes, freedom. But they feel so good. Yes, they do. And like there's this huge club of dirt or fur that will no longer be on the floors. So, and I got water spots all over the camera. I'm pretty sure this is gonna make it worse. Yeah, that made it worse. Go find their brush and we're gonna brush them. But, uh -uh, let me shut the door. Shut our room, but you can't see me. Shut in there, our room. And then we're gonna shut this and see if they will not go, or no, we can go in the sun room. That's what we'll do. Come on. Y'all can go in the sunroom. Move, move. By the way, the food is on the ground because we did not have their food dispenser in the house yet. Move, move. There you go. I can be in the sunroom. Let me go get another battery because this one's dying. All right, got a new battery. We got their brush. This is their brush that we use. We, I need to clean it out though, but this is the brush. It gets all the hair out. That gets that undercoat out really good. If it will focus. Hello, focus. Are we gonna focus? Okay, there we go. This is the brush, but we need to clean it out, obviously. But it gets all of the under hair or undercoat out, and it helps from their coat matting up. Even though Kimber's coat or Weston's coat don't get long enough, this is still good to get all the extra hair out. I don't show it, but I have a special brush cleaner and it looks like a little rake and you can get this for like a human brush or human hair brush, but I don't know if they sell it for dogs, but if you search brush cleaner, it looks like a little rake and you just rake it over your brush and it, yeah, there you go. You can see it when it kind of paused right there. It's the blue gadget that I have and it just cleans out the brush so much easier and I can brush Kimber and clean it out until there's barely any hair on the brush.
think that the glove feels really weird, or not weird, feels really good, the rubber glove, and I don't know why it's not. Okay, they think the rubber glove feels good, but for some weird reason, this wire one, which it doesn't even feel that bad, like I can rub it across my leg and it feels pretty good. Like, yeah, it's scratching me, but it feels good all together. Like it doesn't feel bad, but Wesson hates it. He's hiding behind the chair. You can see it. You can see his tail over here. His tail is just right there. Hold on, let's see it. He's like, stop it. <laughs> Is that all it takes? <laughs> My thing. What? It's not even that bad. He said, like, leave me alone. I'll leave you alone. I don't want him to hate this. Kimber is okay with it. Like, it's, she's fine. She's like, I don't really like this, but I'll bear it. I think she likes it secretly because it does get rid of that undercoat. And she has a lot of it. We haven't bathed her in like two weeks. But now I think I've pretty much gotten all of it. Like, it's not building up that bad on her booty anymore. Yeah, it's not building up that bad. Kimber's done, Wesson's done. We are all done taking baths. Now, we wait until next week. Yeah, no, we wait until next week. You want a treat? You want a treat? You want treats? You want a treat, Wesson? Come on, let's go get a treat. Y'all were good pups. And I need to sweep. Come on, y'all get good treats. Y'all get good treats. We do this on our new sectional. He's not used to the couch moving. And this is coming out. You feel better? You feel better? Cute outfit. Show sure about your cute outfit. Oh, there you go. See, look at my cute outfit. Choo, choo, choo. We got a little bow in the front. Oh, oh. We have little ties that are untying. But we had to do an outfit change during the doctor's visit because she sped up all over the other one. Look at this. This yeah. outfit's the cutest. Oh, I know, I know, I know. And then the back, it has little ruffles on it. So she's just the cutest little baby. And then you see all the trash back here that Josh needs to put in the attic. But we're going to give her a bottle, maybe some baby food, and I know. And maybe some baby food, and we'll be all nice and good. We'll get on the jumper, maybe take a hot bath. We're just gonna, we're just gonna give her the most relaxing evening ever. 
But right now she's in a cuddling mood. She just wants to be held and you know, she's just miserable. But she took a good little long nap. Yes, we did. I just hate when she does shots. She's just so miserable, but she gets some, she gives extra loving. Yes, yeah, she does. So, I'm gonna go take care of her the rest of the day. Aw, wanted to get y'all in the corner. Wait, it says, Mom's getting the camera out, act normal. My corner. My corner. Eat your cake, Ember. <laughs> you got Ellie over here just gnawing on her thing. <laughs> Weston's like, it's the couch, I swear. <laughs> <laughs> 